Sometimes it can be very overwhelming to even start a task, but stick around and I will tell you my tip that I like to use to get started. Welcome back to Simply Living Mama. I'm so glad you guys are here. Today we're going to clean and read our Bibles together, so grab a cup of coffee, go start a load of laundry, do the dishes, grab your Bibles, and let's dig in. This is what we're working with today. I'm just going to be pretty vulnerable and honest. It is a disaster. We have been battling sickness. We've all been just passing it around. And my oldest fell Sunday and sprained his ankle really bad. And so he has been healing from that. And the house just shows that we've been in survival mode. So I am just trying to get this living space area tidied. If this isn't a deep clean. This is just making it tidy and nice. But first, we have to start with some coffee. Today, we are going to be in Galatians 5. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Mark my words, I, Paul, tell you that if you let yourselves be circumcised, Christ will be of no value to you at all. Again, I declare to every man who lets himself be circumcised that he is obligated to obey the whole law. You who are trying to be justified by the law have been annihilated from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. For through the Spirit we eagerly await by faith the righteousness for which we hope. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value. The only thing that counts its faith expressing itself through love. You were running a good race. Who cut in on you to keep you from obeying the truth? That kind of persuasion does not come from the one who calls you. A little yeast works through the whole batch of dough. I am confident in the Lord that you will take no other view. The one who is throwing you into confusion, whoever that may be, will have to pay the penalty. Brothers and sisters, if I am still preaching circumcision, why am I still being persecuted? If that case, the offense of the cross has been abolished. As for those agitators, I wish they would go the whole way and emasculate themselves. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. If you bite and devour each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. So I say, walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other, so that you are not to do whatever you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, debauchery, idolatry, and witchcraft. Hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed the passions and desires of their sinful nature to the cross and crucified them there. Since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Let us not become conceited or provoked by one another or be jealous of one another. Wow, thank you, God, so much for your word. Let us just pray. Jesus, thank you. We just want to come to you and just 
pray that the fruits of your Holy Spirit could just be so adamant in our lives, Lord, that we can just draw closer to you and that our relationship with you can grow and in return our fruits grow, Lord, and that we can just be a light to our community, to our children and our families of you and point them back to you, Lord. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. I took a little pause in cleaning to whip up some muffins. My kiddos were wanting a snack and I was getting a little hungry. So I made some white chocolate cranberry muffins with just a little bit of my potato flake sourdough starter. And they are just so, so good. I will link them below and they will also be on the blog soon. My blog is so close to being finished. So just keep an eye out for that. I can sometimes get super overwhelmed and just feel like I don't know where to start and where to begin. So I will start by setting a 10 minute timer and if that's all I get done, then that's all I get done. But usually once I start the 10 minute timer, then I move on to another area or I can finish up the area that I didn't get to finish. But it like helps encourage me to get the job done and then I want to continue and I just want to keep setting that timer over and over again. So that's what I did here. I got about 30 minutes done before a kiddo, my littlest, woke up and so we just shared some snacks together while I tried to finish cleaning up the house. I am going to leave you guys with a question to ask yourselves. What fruits are you producing? What fruits are being produced in your life? What fruits are being produced when your kids are interacting with you, when you are trying to just get something done? Take a second, think about it. It might rock you to the core like it did to me and just how the fruits are not always good fruits that are being produced through me. But here's an encouragement for you. Even if you're not good at the fruit, it doesn't mean that the Holy Spirit is holding back on giving you joy and peace and patience. He has given you an abundance. But the thing is, we're still new at it. We're not very good at it. We're still in training. And we still need to seek the Lord and His guidance through that. And if we're not doing that, then of course we're not going to be producing the amount of fruit that the Lord has given us. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today, reading our Bibles together, and getting some cleaning done. Comment below how I can be praying for you or just how the Lord is encouraging you right now in this season of your life. I will catch you guys on the next one. In the meantime, check out these videos and I will see you over there.